Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. What a new week and a new assessment on the Australian dollar after reaching the highs last week of around 72.50.60 area and the market plummeted after investors reassessed the US Federal Reserve announcement last week after it raised its benchmark rate by half a percentage point to 0.75 to 1%. Meanwhile, in the stock market in the US, it suffered its worst day of the year as investors worried about the US Federal Reserve plans to raise interest rates to tackle soaring inflation. Right across the board, the dollar index rallied and therefore saw the market plummet, the Australia wiping out all its gains after recovering from the lows of 70 cents, and now looks back towards that bottom side of the range, seen around 69, 80, 90. I do feel from there we could see another rebound, that is, from the support line and bouncing back towards the top side. So I'm not going to get bearish at the bottom side of the range, and let's see at the start of the fresh week if the market can stage a return around. The euro still respecting this level of 104.8595 after at least near enough eight attempts to the downside and from the previous posting an, a long-legged doji after the non-farm payrolls number which come out as previously at 428,000 jobs posting a better forecast than um, 390 that is so with the raise now gave us a, an unemployment rate which was previous of 3.6 as well. With both the uh, Federal Reserve and also the unemployment rate or the non-farm payrolls out of the way, the market can now get a slower uh, view, that is, a more of an assessment, should I say, to where we can step next for the euro. In light of the pattern, I feel the market is still somewhat weak and therefore could look down towards this bottom side of the range around 103.40.60, but that will be the last stretch of this heavy bearish trend that we've seen since 122. So I feel we are getting very close to the bottom side of the range, but let's see if the euro will show further weakness to this beginning of this week and take out that level. The bounce on last week for dollar yen has not quite claimed that topside challenge of the uh, trend line and still holding now uh, risen to around 131 figure 10. There is a little bit of divergence in the indicators, but overall, though, we are getting very close to the top side of this range. And if I just lift this up, we can see that anywhere from around 131, I do anticipate another rejection and pull back towards our bottom side around 127. Sterling plummeted away from that 126, 45, 60 area late last week and now crushes the level of 123.80. Uh, though I'm not getting negative. The reason behind that is, as you can see, I draw these lines in here. We've got a decline in price, but we also have a rise in RSI, which supports bullish divergence. With the Bank of England going last week, 25 base points to 1%, the market is now most probably going to consolidate at these lows. And I do feel there is a recovery for sterling on the way. The market plummeted away from that 194 after briefly extending its rally, but didn't stay there long. And the call to 191 was achieved after stabbing there late last week. And now post the market into the middle side of the range from 191 to 93, 94 and a half. In light of the picture, though, there is an attempt to try and recover, but I feel the market will fail again towards 194 and look back towards that downside. Very whipsaw price action for gold after rebounding off the level around 1,848 to 52 and surging back to the rejection area 1,914. In light of the pattern though, I feel that gold is still struggling. And if we see a move under 1,870, just bringing down a little bit there, is that we are looking back towards the bottom side of this range around 1,848 and reassess. Finishing up with oil. The market is attempting to recover since rebounding off that 97 and a half to 98 dollars a barrel. But I feel the pattern is still very much a lackluster price action, even though we have edged slightly higher, but the technicals are still slightly sluggish. In light of the picture, though, from the RSI and also from the MACD, I feel that we could see a weaker play into the start of this week, but not as weak until we see the market break the level around 
102.50 with a cap seen around 113 figure 75. Well, that wraps it for the morning. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out for the intro report and also the end of the day wrap.